What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now I have a bit of a confession to make. Yesterday I missed an upload, okay? Now I'm not here to make excuses, uh, it's all my fault, uh, but there's actually a lesson that we can take away from this and that is the topic of today's video. Is your mind playing tricks on you? So what do I mean? Well, I missed an upload yesterday because the Wi-Fi has been off at the villa for like three days now. I've got no Wi-Fi. Uh, so I'm just using 4G. Now to do all my work, uh, I can do all my work fine on 4G, but when it came to trying to upload this uh, YouTube video in 4K, it just wouldn't do it. And it got to a certain point last night, about 9, 10 o'clock at night. I'm usually uh, uh, go to bed around that kind of time. You know, I had this thought like, oh, maybe I can't upload a video today. <clears throat> and then my mind thought, Oh, you know what, James? You've done a really good job recently. You've uploaded quite a few videos. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you don't upload a video today, just do it tomorrow. And in that moment, I was like, no, stop that. That is a loser's mentality. That is an average person's mindset. And I need to do everything in my power to make sure if I've made a decision, which is the decision is to upload a video every single day to YouTube. I've made that decision because that's in my best interest. It's in my best interest because I wanna spread my message on YouTube because it means I can help more people and you know, selfishly, some of those people will end up becoming clients of mine. So I need it for my business. I need it for my purpose. I need to do this thing. But in that very split moment, my mind is playing a trick on me. My mind is giving me a reason as to why I don't need to do these actions. Now, why is that happening? Well, I have this goal, you know, to help people get in the best shape of their life. And I've decided that there's some actions along the way, which is gonna help me get there, which is making videos on YouTube. <clears throat> but if you are starting something new, you're not gonna be very good at it, okay? So it's very hard to like something you're not good at. That's why when you first go to the gym, it's very hard for you to like going to the gym because you just don't know what to do. Anything you're not good at, it's impossible to like. Like, I don't know whether you remember as a kid when you used to play some kind of, I don't know whether it was a video game against your friends and your friends would just beat you every single time. It's, that's just not fun. <laughs> that's just not fun at all, okay? It's impossible to like something you're not good at. But to start, you have to be okay with not being good because if you've never been to the gym before, there's gonna be a period of time where you're not very good and you don't know what you're doing and it feels weird and, and you just got to push through that okay and it's the same for me not for the gym but for making these videos because i'm new to making these these videos it's very hard for me to be myself on front of camera because i'm not used to it and even though i know that this is in my best interest my mind is still playing tricks on me my mind is still telling me oh you don't need to do this thing because you've already done enough and if you ever have these thoughts, whether it's about your training, whether it's about uh, something to do with your business, uh, your side project or anything, you need to crush these thoughts and do everything in your power to make sure you do the actions necessary to get the result that you want. Now, uh, what happened is at nine, 10 o'clock, I went to a restaurant around the corner and I got on Wi-Fi, I uploaded the video but I forgot about the processing time. So it was still gonna be an extra, like, I don't know, two hours, and I wasn't gonna wait up for that. So I was like, you know what? I'll try my best. I'm not gonna sacrifice my sleep just to get this video out. I can just upload it in the morning. I can just uh, publish it in the morning. So I wake up, I publish the video in the morning, and then I get on with my day. And that is why you really wanna just do absolutely everything in you can to do, like, get the desired result yes there's going to be circumstances that pop up that are outside of your control but if you're not where you want to be in life it's your fault if you don't have the relationship that you want it's your fault if you don't have uh the so if you're not making the amount of money that you want to make it's your fault if you don't look and you don't have the physique that you want it is your fault because if you say it's anyone else's fault well you're just giving them the power okay whoever you point the finger to you give the power to so you, you have to accept responsibility that you are where you are today because of the decisions and actions you've taken previously. That's how you got to where you are today. 
And if you're not happy with the results that, you, that you're getting in your business, in your life, in your job, in your career, whatever, then you need to change those actions. It takes change to get change, okay? The, 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 I think uh, it was Einstein said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So if you ever have these thoughts like um, uh, just excuses like, oh, I don't need to go to the gym today because I've done good this week or I don't need to stick to my diet today because I've been good all week. I deserve it. I deserve a treat. I deserve a rest. I deserve to not do these actions. Why are you doing that? Because that is preventing you from getting to where you want to go. That is an average person's mindset. And if you have average thoughts, you will put in average actions and you'll get average results. And if you're watching this video, chances are you don't want to be average because average people wouldn't click on a video titled to this. And average people definitely would not listen to me ramble on for as long as I have, okay? So you're not an average person let's stop sabotaging yourself let's stop with those negative mindset uh, negative thoughts which are causing you to not put in the required actions to get the required result now how do we do this well uh, there's a really good book on this topic called uh, awaken the giant within by tony robbins excellent book i listen to it on audible it takes like one two hours to listen to tony robbins is a g <clears throat> excuse me it's a really good book and in the book, he talks about if you're not doing what you know you're supposed to do right now, it's because you need to change your association of what you link pain and pleasure to. Okay, so right now, if you know there's something you need to do, like go to the gym, for example, but you're not doing it, it's because you associate the pain of going to the gym is higher than the pleasure that you would get from uh, going to the gym and getting results, okay? But we have the ability to condition and program our mind to change what we link pain and pleasure to. So you have the ability to right now change your association. So you can say, oh, I love going to the gym. Make it, going to the gym makes me feel so good. And you just focus on all the positives, okay? You focus on all the positives of going to the gym or doing this action that you wanna do. You make it much more likely that you will go to the gym and do those actions. Whereas, I see a lot of people, whether it is to go to the gym or whether it's something else, they're looking for excuses. They're looking for the negative. They're looking for the reason why they don't have to do what they want to do, which is going to help them get where they want to go. Okay? I see this all the time. Oh, I, I couldn't go to the gym this week because uh, my gran was in town. <laughs> or something like that, right? So, you want to change what you link pain and pleasure to and you want to associate pain of not doing the task, the thing that you're supposed to do at, immense pain to not doing it. And think about, if I don't go to the gym today, I'm just gonna stay in the same condition I'm in right now, and I'm not happy with it, and I'm gonna be unhappy, and uh, I'm not gonna get the girl that I want, I'm not gonna leave the, live the life that I want, but I'm not gonna build the business that I want because I can't even go to the gym when I don't feel like it. Okay, if you think about things on this level, it will be extremely easy for you to go to the gym, for you to work on your business or your side project or level up in your career or do whatever it is that you want to do. Okay, so what I want you to understand is, is be careful and be aware of when your mind is playing tricks on you because if you let those negative thoughts, if you let that loser mentality come into your mind and dictate your actions, You'll put in average actions and you'll get average results. But if you want to get in the best shape of your life, if you want to build a business, if you want to have freedom and you want to live on life on your terms and you want to have like an elite level life and physique and everything that comes with it, then it's going to take an elite level of actions and it starts with the things that you do on a daily basis. Okay guys, I hope that helps and I will see you in the next one.